Lori Loughlin has deleted two of her social media accounts in the wake of her alleged participation in a college admissions cheating scam. As of Tuesday afternoon, Laughlin's Instagram and Twitter accounts were no longer active, just hours after news broke that the actress was among dozens charged in the alleged scandal. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Follow following you'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. Her Facebook account, however, is still active. Laughlin, best known for her role as Aunt Becky on the ABC sitcom Full House, was among a list of 50 people who have been indicted as part of an alleged nationwide scheme, according to a release from the U.S. Attorney's Office in Massachusetts. Felicity Huffman was also named and allegedly gave $15,000 to help one of her children excel on an entrance exam, the indictment states. The scandal involves admissions to schools like the University of Southern California, Yale, Georgetown, and Stanford, among others, people confirmed on Tuesday. Dozens of individuals involved in a nationwide conspiracy that facilitated cheating on college entrance exams and the admission of students to elite universities as purported athletic recruits were arrested by federal agents in multiple states and charged in documents unsealed on March 12, 2019, in federal court in Boston, the release said. Laughlin and her husband, fashion designer Massimo Gianelli, allegedly gave $500,000 to say their daughters, Olivia Jade, 19, and Isabella Rose, 20, were part of the rowing team when that was not true, the indictment states. The couple, who were both indicted, agreed to pay bribes totaling $500,000 in exchange for having their two daughters designated as recruits to the USC crew team, despite the fact that they did not participate in crew, thereby facilitating their admission to USC, state the documents. Federal agents also obtained emails from Laughlin allegedly implicating her in the scam, according to the documents. Starting on April 22, 2016, Ginali allegedly emailed an unnamed cooperating witness and copied Laughlin, saying that he and his wife had just met with Isabella's college counselor and that he wanted to fully understand the game plan and make sure we have a roadmap for success as it relates to our daughter and getting her into a school other than Arizona State University. On July 24, 2016, the corroborating witness allegedly emailed Trianali essentially saying his older daughter was unlikely to get into USC on academics alone. Thereafter, the Giannalis agreed with the witness to use bribes to facilitate her admission to USC as a recruited crew coxswain, even though she did not row competitively or otherwise participate in crew, the complaint alleges. That September, Ginali allegedly sent the witness an email of Isabella on a rowing machine a month before Donald Heinel, the senior associate athletic director at USC, allegedly presented the teen as a recruit to the crew team. Several months later, in 2017, USC mailed Isabella her formal acceptance letter, the complaint alleges. Later, when the witness allegedly asked if they would need help with their other daughter, Laughlin allegedly added, yes USC for our younger daughter. The complaint alleges that the corroborating witness devised a plan to present their younger daughter, falsely, as a crew coxswain for the L. A Marina Club team and requested that the Giannalises send an action picture, asking a few days later for a picture on the erg or rowing machine which Ginelli did a few days later. Heinel presented Olivia to the USC Subcommittee for Athletic Admissions on her about November 2, 2017, when a subcommittee approved her conditional admission to USC, the document states. 
After her daughter's admission, Laughlin allegedly emailed the corroborating witness, this is wonderful news, and used a high five emoji. In December 2017, the guidance counselor at Olivia's high school questioned her being recruited for crew at USC like her older sister when she didn't row, which Giannale allegedly fraudulently confirmed for the counselor the following April, according to the complaint. Both of Laughlin's daughters are not currently listed on the USC women's rowing roster. Reps for Laughlin did not immediately return people's request for comment.